Howdy guys, um, bit of an update on the scope repair. Um, so I've been doing various bits of tidying and cleaning up and getting rid of the obvious stuff. Uh, before I get into any other serious troubleshooting, I thought I would um, replace this mains connector. This is the original one that was in it. Um, and I haven't been able to find a suitable plug to go in it. Um, so I removed it and I thought I need to replace it with something a bit more standard that you know a regular fairly common type of mains cable will fit um, so going for one of these regular standard three pin jobs here um, and there's just about enough room uh, to fit this in so uh, it will go um, just around there and then there's just enough room on the other side um, <coughs> I decided to do this now um, because if I go to the, if I get the scope fixed and everything is working and all the rest of it, and then I thought again okay, now I have to put in that mains cable and do a bit of metal work, and with a little bit of drilling and filing that I end up doing some electronic damage again, then I'd be very upset. So I'll get that out of the way first, and then go from there. Right, so there we go. A little bit of drilling and filing later. Um, a standard main socket. Um, so I can use a regular device mains cable. Um, won't have to worry about that from uh, now on. So on to the next bit. Uh, in order to work on the power supply, I removed the um, the top bar here, which holds the uh, carry handle. So it was generally making life really difficult to work in here. So I'll uh, obviously refit that later on when everything is ready to go back together. Okay, so having got a um, proper mains connector all set up, I thought it's probably safest to rebuild the power supply. Um, and so since you may remember from the first clip, um, these guys have little bulges on them, which I think you can see here, and same over here. I decided I'd replace all the large-scale electrolytics um, as a minimum and um, since space is kind of at a premium in here I thought I need to take these guys out so I can measure them up physically so that whatever replacements I order are gonna fit properly into the space I have available because I have a feeling um, if the new ones are different then these uh, I'll have to replace these clamps as well with uh, with the uh, ones appropriate to the size of the replacements for these guys. Um, while I'm at it, I'll make a note of the values of these guys as well. And, uh, and this guy over here. And um, I may as well replace all those as well. So finding suitable replacements for these might take a little while, I'm not sure. I'll uh, go look online now and see. Um, and so uh, once these replacement parts arrive, um, we'll rebuild the power supply and uh, yeah, we'll probably then fire the thing up and uh, see where we go from there. So, more to come soon.